Main memory is where data and instructions are stored during active use. All computers require memory to function. There are different types of memory we commonly see in computer systems, such as random access memory and read-only memory. These each have their own benefits and uses. Random access memory, commonly referred to as RAM, is the most common form of main memory. While it has random in its name, it's not actually random. What we mean by random access is that you can access any area of memory by its address. All memory in RAM is stored in registers. A register is a location in RAM identified by an address allowing direct memory access to the data held there. RAM is read-write, meaning that not only can data be loaded from RAM, but this data can be changed. RAM memory is also volatile. This means that if you turn off the power on your computer without saving your work to your hard drive, you will lose it. The purpose of RAM is to speed up the operation of your computer. Without RAM, your CPU would have to fetch data from the hard disk drive, which would take a long time. This would seriously slow down the performance of your computer. RAM basically allows large chunks of data to be transferred from the slow hard disk drive into the faster main memory so it can be fetched quicker by the CPU for processing. Read-only memory, commonly referred to as ROM, is an area of memory that contains instructions that can never be written over by the user. The ROM chip will be built into the motherboard. The ROM chip contains BIOS software that your computer requires to perform the startup process. This process is commonly known as booting. This booting process involves the BIOS starting up the monitor and keyboard and then locating the starting address of the operating system. Once this first address is loaded, the operating system can find the rest of itself by itself. The main things to understand about ROM memory are, it is non-volatile. By that we mean if you lose power, you do not lose your data. And it is read-only. This means that the data on the ROM chip always stays the same. We have seen that RAM memory is volatile. In other words, if you lose power, all your data is lost. ROM isn't volatile, however, it is read-only, so we can't change the data it is storing. We need to use memory that will allow us to write to it and will store the data even when there is no power. Such memory is called secondary storage. This secondary storage can refer to things like hard disk drives, solid state drives, and optical disks like DVDs and Blu-ray. These devices are always non-volatile, usually hold more data than RAM, and are usually a lot cheaper than RAM or cache memory. However, secondary storage is also usually a lot slower than main memory. The importance of secondary storage can be seen when trying to run a program on your computer. When we install a new piece of software, it is stored on our secondary storage device. When we decide to use this new program, the instructions for it will be copied into main memory so they can be quickly passed to and from the CPU. When we close the program or turn off your computer, the program instructions will be deleted from main memory, but that's okay because they still exist in our secondary storage. If we didn't have secondary storage and only had RAM, then we'd need to reinstall the software every time we wanted to use it. Terribly inefficient. But of course, if we didn't have main memory, then the CPU would need to fetch instructions from secondary storage, which would be very slow. So this means we of course need both primary storage and secondary storage for our computer to work efficiently. So, RAM is main memory and stands for random access memory. It is not actually random. This just means that memory can be accessed using an address. You can read or write to RAM and it is volatile, which means data is lost with no power. ROM memory is read-only memory. It stores the BIOS software that starts your computer's boot process. It cannot be written to and is non-volatile, so when there is no power, data is not lost. Secondary storage devices are devices that are used for long-term storage of data.